estamos de vuelta en Cine Escape y continuamos acá en París, Francia, lo máximo. Y bueno, lo que estamos viendo es el famoso Arco del Triunfo, 1836, Napoleón lo construyó en honor a las tropas y les dijo que si regresaban victoriosos iban a pasar por debajo de este Arco del Triunfo, así que por eso lo construyeron y está acá uno de los símbolos de París, un éxito. Bueno, pero ahora quiero invitarlos a ver Tech, mañana a las 11 aquí en América vamos a ver eh, unas notas sobre el E3, si te gustan los videojuegos. No te pierdas Tech a las 11 junto a Kiara Pinasco. Y ahora vamos a dejar un poco Francia y vámonos hasta Brighton en Inglaterra para el lanzamiento de Blancanieves y el Cazador. Estuvimos con Chris Hemsworth. ¿Quién es Chris Hemsworth? Este de acá. Ahí está. ¿Te acuerdas de Thor? Bueno, pues ahora está haciendo ya no de superhéroe, sino un papel de un hombre pues sufrido en la película Blancanieves y el Cazador. Esto fue lo que me contó en exclusiva. Yo voy a seguir caminando por acá por ¿no? las calles famosas de Francia. Pero ahora vámonos al Castillo Arundel en Inglaterra para Blancanieves y el Cazador. Vamos a verlo. Ahí te va. Chris, how are you, man? Good, mate. Good nice to see you again. You too. Congratulations for the movies. Thank Amazing. you. Amazing. Good. <laughs> yeah, 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 right, definitely. Right, Another thing. So, the idea to do this update, how do you approach it? How do you, when you read mm. the script for the first time, you say, okay, this is so cool? Yeah, initially, um, you know, what I wasn't overly sort of keen on doing a big fantasy based sort of epic. Yeah. You know, I've done, I've done Thor and Avengers, but um, I just love the script, you know, and the good thing about it was it was. There was a heart and soul and character at the center of it, you know. It was surrounded by this visual, you know, concept and, and this, you know, beautiful thematic sort of world. But um, it was about, you know, human interactions. Yeah. And uh, uh, so, you know, the, a lot of the work was, was there, you know, on the page and, and a great director and a great cast. And I think we all had the same sort of approach as to make it as truthful as possible, you know, and then surround it with this, this fantastic yeah. world. For the superhero movies, your character is, is a god, so it's always yeah. perfect, clean, you know, the mm. hair, the armor. Yeah, it's nice like to be dirty. A, yeah, <laughs> so how much in this It looks like every yeah. time you got like tons of dirt yeah. in. I used to spend 30 minutes in makeup every day, uh -huh. basically, you know, then putting dirt all over my face and my body and covering me and, you know, making me greasy and, and sweaty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was great, it was nice to come from from, yeah, clean sort of Thor in, into this you know, grittier sort of, uh, uh -huh. much more human sort of, you know, character. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's, it's, uh, it's fun, you know, yeah, rolling yeah. around in the dirt and plenty of fight scenes and things, but as I said, it was great sort of heart to it too. Yeah. The troll sequence was amazing. Oh, good, so. yeah. How tricky was made it? I, I said there's nothing there, yeah. but the splashes and the, <laughs> the reaction. The troll didn't turn up, yeah. so we had uh, <laughs> visual effects guys step uh -huh. in. Um, it is tricky, you know, because you have to, you're relying on someone else to tell you, okay, you know, now it's throwing its fish down here and you step that way and whatever. So you kind of feel ridiculous, but mm. you've got to, you know, that, that, uh, that little, <laughs> you know, kid in you has to kind of come alive again and imagine, you know, the scenario. So when you saw the final sequence, how do you...? I, it worked, you know, I was really happy. As I said, you always always roll the dice, uh -huh. but, um, you know, well, once it, it came together, I thought it just looked, looked fantastic. Because you, we got Thor, then the Avengers, then this, then mm. the Thor again. So yeah. you, it looks like you need to be fit every single moment of your life. So it's, it's, it's hard to be like that. It's like, I, um, I want yeah, to I mean, eat whatever I want, <laughs> and it's impossible. I mean, there's sort of different directions, you know. Uh -huh. The last film I did was a... Uh, uh, Formula One movie based in the 70s with Ron Howard, and mm. um, I had to lose all that muscle and, and, and you know get so quite you look skinny. Like me, and, like nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nice and lean yeah. and healthy, yeah. But, um, it certainly wasn't the Thor routine. And, and look, if, if my work kind of forces me into some sort of fitness regime, then that, that's a plus. It's, it's uh, not something I'm going to complain about. But um, I get a bit sick of the gym. So. Now keep your word. <laughs> Every, every time you got a, a fight sequence, it's like you need to train again for that or you just use your regular oh, no, experience? No, no, you do. It becomes very much, you choreograph it, you know, there's much like a, um, you know, there's, there's a routine and there's steps like a dance to it, you know, mm. you have to, um, you know, you swing here and someone blocks or ducks and what have you and, and there might be, you know, a hundred different moves in, in a sequence and you have to sort of get that down to memory and then, you know, each each time you rehearse it, you get quicker and quicker and then yeah. so you see the final product is looks sort of seamless Smooth kind of thing. Yeah. And real. And real, yeah. yeah. And occasionally, Chris, you know, time's up. up. Thank, Thank you, you so much. See Thanks, you next mate. time. Thank you. <laughs> Bueno, ahí 
que estaba Chris Hemsworth, súper buena onda, ¿no? Como siempre hemos tenido ya varias veces en Sin Escape, así que ahora nos contaba su chamba en Blanca Nieves y el Cazador. Bueno, estoy en la Plaza de la Concordia, famosísima plaza aquí parisina, que se construyó en homenaje al rey Luis XV. Aquí estaba una famosa estatua, estatua ecuestre, ¿no? Del rey así montado en su caballo, recontra, pues elegante. Y en la época de la Revolución Francesa se tumbaron la estatua y es aquí donde se puso la famosa guillotina, donde justiciaron a cientos de personas en la época de la Revolución. Se le puso el nombre de Plaza de la Revolución y años más tarde, cuando llegó la paz y la calma, Plaza de la Concordia. Así que chévere, vamos a dar una vueltita así. Y bueno, vamos a esa, esa fuente que ustedes ven ahí atrás es la donde Anne Hathaway en Devil Wears Prada, el diablo se visa la moda. ¿Se acuerda cuando se pelea con Meryl Streep y tira su celular al agua? Fue en esa fuente. Ahí mismo se filmó esa escena. Bueno, vamos a hacer a continuación un grupo de achorados del cine. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone y hasta Chuck Norris se unen a la pantalla para Los Indestructibles 2. Eso te lo muestra sin escape un tráiler recontra chorado. Vamos a ver. Somebody's hooked. And I pronounce you man a knife. You and your little psychotic gang of monsters. Today is pain back. Six pounds of pure plutonium is powerful enough to change the balance of the world. Imagine what five tons would do. You're gonna need more men if you expect to get out of here alive. I'm back. You can't let the contents of that safe fall into the wrong hands. What's the plan? Track them, find them, kill them. Bueno, ahí veíamos a los achorados de los indestructibles 2. Estoy caminando ahora por los jardines de las tuyerías. En un ratito te voy a mostrar en más detalle. Este, vamos a hacer ahorita una pausa comercial. Pero te cuento que si tú te compras una cámara Lumix de Panasonic, te va a venir, en los modelos que aparecen ahí en pantalla, te va a venir un video tutorial hecho por el Team Sin Escape. Claro, nosotros hemos hecho un video tutorial donde te mostramos cómo sacarle el jugo a tu cámara Lumix en situaciones reales. ¿ah? Hemos viajado con ella, le hemos sacado el jugo para mostrarte todas las funciones que tu cámara Lumix tiene y así vas a poder tomar unas fotazos. Así que bueno, mientras yo camino por los jardines de las tuyerías preparando la, ¿no? el siguiente bloque sin escape, pausa comercial y volvemos al toque de este parís. No le hagan caso a mi pelo, ¿ya? ¿eh? Es así, es así. Pausa comercial. Tristin. Happy to see you again. Same here, man, always. Yes, as always. Uh, we follow in your career, so that's good. <laughs> 